Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how to create a fly down menu bar, a slide up and down navigation bar. In fact, as always people, let me straight away start off with the browser preview. Now you see uh, this box or a button in the extreme top left, uh, top right corner. Okay, uh, see what happens as I actually click on this icon. A menu bar slides down okay uh, and see the effect that transpires on a hover uh, I'm using a transition effect uh, effect effect that's happening over 0.4 seconds tad less than half a second okay the color changes the background color changes also notice that the you know between different anchor tags or the link tags item 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are link tags. You have a very subtle divider. Okay, Notice that the divider is not out here or out here. It's just separating the different items. So it was not needed to be here or here. Cool. Uh, now this menu bar is responsive as well. See as I... I'm sorry see as I shrink the size what happens let me shrink it even further okay the moment I crunch it enough so that it actually enters the smartphone size or goes uh, at 480 or under 480 px or under this is the way the menu collapses and you get an even better uh, you know hover effect and see what happens when I actually click now the menu bar disappears so you are able to hide whatever is superfluous at times you don't want to see the menu bar you can actually hide it whenever you, whenever, uh, you would not want to see it okay now people I'm gonna divide this tutorial into several parts I'm not so sure how many parts right now but the, the first part uh, just a bird's eye view of the code just a preview of the browser preview that's all okay so I hope you'll join me in the next few parts maybe just one more part maybe two or three more parts I don't know it's, it's a, a lengthy um, it's a lengthy one although it's just CSS3 pure CSS3 pure HTML5 no jQuery no JavaScript people okay <coughs> and also uh, I would also want to show you an effect uh, a colon selection rule is something that uh, I have used in this project and most of you may not be aware what colon selection is notice that I as I highlight some text you see the background appears gray and the foreground appears uh, silver okay now this is uh, achieved through a achieved through a colon selection rule uh, this colon selection, I'll tell you why I actually use the colon selection rule. It was uh, required. We'll talk about it, it uh, you know, about it in few later uh, parts. Also notice that the divider of the rule out here is multicolored. Instead of using a, you know, a pure, uh, you know, a simple vanilla boring HR tag, I've actually used three colors out here in this HR. And I'll show you how actually did that it's very simple I used a rule which created a linear gradient at 90 degrees of three colors olive teal and sky blue okay. as I said um, I, I, I you know I won't get into the de details in the very first part itself but there are there are some media queries very little of them only this much you see okay uh, I would expect you to join me in the next part so that I can talk you through into detail as how this was done but again this is pure CSS3 pure HTML5 not a dash of not a tint of jQuery or JavaScript at all so it's simple for people who are you know um, who are quite capable of handling HTML5 CSS3 it should be a cakewalk for them so hope to see you soon in the next few parts bye bye Peace.